Another factor affecting the rate at which compounds move on a TLC plate is the solvent used. If a more polar solvent is used, it will compete better with the polar stationary phase. As a result, all spots will partition more in favor of the mobile phase, will travel faster, and will have a higher RF. Often, combinations of solvents are used so the polarity can be adjusted as needed. An example of a TLC is shown here. Let's assume it was developed using a 90-10 mixture of hexane, a nonpolar alkane, and ethyl acetate, a polar ester. If the same mixture was developed using a 95-5 mixture instead, lower RFs would result since it is a less polar solvent combination. A more polar solvent, such as 20% ethyl acetate and hexane, would cause the spots to move faster, resulting in higher RFs. If an extremely polar solvent is used, such as straight ethyl acetate, we might expect an RF of 1, as both spots move at the same rate as the solvent. The other extreme example is when a completely nonpolar solvent is used. 100% hexane is not polar enough for any partitioning into the mobile phase to occur at all, and the spots remain at the starting point to give an RF of 0.